everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today, we're going to take a look at everything that is new and has changed with Samsung One UI 5.1 in reference of Camera Assistant. So Camera Assistant, you were able to use on past Samsung Galaxy devices, you know, past Samsung One UI versions, but on 5.1, they did add in a little extras and they made some changes, some refinements. So all you'd have to do to get Camera Assistant is go inside of the Galaxy Store and download the camera assistant. Now, once it's downloaded, it'll automatically pull up in your camera settings. So you just open up the camera, you go to the settings, camera assistant's gonna be right here. And this is all of the stuff that it offers. It's just additional settings, some things that could possibly help you out. So one of the things that they changed was this option here, which is picture softening. Now beforehand, uh, before 5.1, it was really just either high or off. It was basically a on or off option. Now you have off, medium, and high. So you have three options uh, compared to the two. You also have this one here called quick tap shutter. I can't remember 100% if this was in the past version, um, but basically what quick tap shutter is, because maybe you want to know about it, is that when you actually tap on the shutter button, that's when the picture is taken, rather than when your finger actually lifts off of the button. So you are able to take a little bit quicker picture with this option. Now this one here is brand new. You have a different capture speed. So basically when you go down to the capturing of speeds, uh, it shows you two options, one for your regular resolutions and one for your higher resolutions, like the 50 megapixel or 200 megapixel. This is where you can choose if you want to prioritize your quality or if you kind of want to have a balance, but you want to have a little bit more speed, but still a little bit of quality or you can just prioritize the speed itself. Now just remember, if you choose any of these options right here of prioritize speed, you will lose quality of the picture. Uh, so I would just normally, you know, when you have a high-end camera like this, or I should say a high-end phone, uh, you would really like to have your quality sit there. Now, if you realize that you want to test out this option, I kind of see this one as okay to test out. Um, but if you notice it's not the best quality, just move it back up to prioritize quality. Uh, again, that's just gonna be inside this option of capture speed. Now, as you scroll on down, you also have this option here too. So the timer of multi-photo options, beforehand on 5.0, you had these options, but you didn't have the interval between the pictures. So what the timer multi-photo option is, is when you're in your camera and you hit on the timer button and you set it up to go two seconds, five or 10, then what'll happen after that two second timer is up, it'll take your picture. Well, I have it set up to take three pictures. So this way, if you wanna take, you know, three different images with three different poses or, or different face expressions, or if you wanna take five pictures, cause maybe somebody's gonna blink or sneeze, or you wanna have additional poses or additional faces, uh, you can have multiple pictures being taken, and then you can set the interval in between those three pictures. So if your timer is set to two seconds, you'll have two seconds to kind of set up. It's gonna take the first picture, then you can have your interval, then it'll take the next, and then the interval, and the next. So this way, it's pretty fun. You can set it all up uh, beforehand. This option wasn't here, uh, but that one up there was. Uh, and then right here for the camera timeout, this is one that is also brand new. It's pretty nice. My phone is set up to timeout after, I believe, two or five minutes. Let's say maybe you wanna set up your camera to timeout after a minute. If your camera is just open and on, it's taken battery, what'll happen is it'll timeout after one minute or whatever you set it to. Then it just goes to your home screen and then it just waits till whatever your main default timeout is then it'll turn off. Uh, you also have this option here too, which is brand new, dim after you start recording, which I love this feature that's a part of the Google Pixel devices. Finally, Samsung has incorporated it. So now when you are recording after a full minute, it'll actually dim the screen to save you battery, but still record. And then you also have the option down here. This one was there from before with the 5.0, but you get a clean preview on HDMI displays, which means if you are connecting this phone to an HDI or uh, another display via HDMI, you'll be able to have a full clean picture and you're not gonna have all of this stuff floating on that screen. So you get a full shot of what you are recording. And that is everything that's new, a part of Camera Assistant on Samsung One UI 5.1. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later i got tons of soul on my true collective ball famous or so famous number one desirable i do what i want when i want and how i want it leave you with the one in the air that's how i roll i got tons of soul on my